Okay, guys, so that, that trip was kind of a bust. Um, I mentioned in the last video, um, actually yesterday, well, it was Thursday when I did that outro. Today is Friday. I went and looked at that LB7 Duramax, and whoo, uh, uh -uh. that thing ran like shit, even for the money that I wanted for it. Um, so that's kind of a bust. Not a big deal. We'll find another one. Um, but anyway, this weather sucks. It's cold outside. Look at all this. Poor sweet Lolo over there just hiding. But anyway, um, oh yeah, right. Um, I guess as promised, here's the uh, here's the footage for footage rather from Jacob's uh, 8562 Blazer. This thing is badass. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it, so give it some love. So roll the tape. <laughs> All right, give us a breakdown. What we got here? 85 K5 Blazer, 6.2 diesel, uh, started life as a government vehicle, old man I bought it from, had it for like 10 years on that, been sitting for 16, 13, sorry, 13 years. Still has the same injectors and pumping it? All original, 53,000 miles on it, just rolled it last night. Let's take a, let's take a look, there's a... Uh... Somebody's gonna get butt hurt, but we're just gonna. That's custom right there. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it right there for you guys. Is that is that a roll cage, Mister? Yes, it is. Custom. Well, here, go ahead and I want you walk them through. Just hit on some stuff you've done and your eight-way power key. Eight-way. I think they're only seven. Seven? Well, I think. They don't have a heat function. It does have a O2. Silverado style seats. Uh, second row is third row out of a Tahoe, as well as a third row, an additional third row, again from a Tahoe. Council. Uh, power seats work. Uh, heated too, but I do not have the heated function currently connected as it still is a work in progress. 53,103. So, she's up there. Uh, it did not have floors in it. I had to do all the rear floor work, cross members, whole nine yards. So all that is new. About the only thing that stayed was the transmission tunnel. About the only sheet metal that was good in it. Uh, new rear floor. All that, we'll pop the back open and show you that. But. Let's fire it up. Yeah. Oh, we can fire it up too. Here, I'll give you that. I'll even pop the hood for you. Because that's where the magic happens. Look at that, guys. We even we even still have the badge now. Yeah, the better side's on the. Uh, <laughs> Flip it over. The be oh, right. He keeps the better side facing towards him so that way he can enjoy it going down the road because obviously. There she is, boys. The original dinosaur herself. <coughs> Thing of beauty. They don't make them like this anymore. They do not. Naturally aspirated, indirect injected. About the second thing I did to it was rip that serpentine style system off there. That's right, that's right guys. He did or the V-belt, sorry. Yep, he got rid of the V-belt. We put a 94. Well, I guess it would be 90 through 95 serpentine system on it. It might have been a little bit sooner than that. Don't kill me over it. But look at all that. EGR valve. Look at that. Who needs that nonsense? All right, let's put a fire in the hole. That way we can open up the back. Oh, and check this out. He's got retrofits. This thing actually fires out really fast for being cold.
Dual exhaust. That money shot. There's a lot of money shot of that. You can see that. <laughs> of course. That was on there. I didn't do it. Really? Didn't do it. Got his custom brackets, the Tejo seats are flipped up. There we go. Man, I cannot wait to see this thing up at the dunes. Hmm? It's a blast. I bet. I bet. Now, I don't know how well you're gonna see my face, but we are gonna be working on this one later in time. We are actually, I talked him into doing a twin turbo setup for it because, I mean, <coughs> why not? Why not? It'd be cool, you know, it's short wheelbase. Lightweight, L well, lighter. Lighter than double D. Yeah. But, there you guys go. We're gonna, again, I have no idea. I have no idea if you can even see me. I think we're gonna call it good there. There's your 6.5 content and all that. Well, it's 6.2, but um, super excited that the 5.9 Cummins is up and running in our six speed. Good old Miss Sally. And uh, it's, it's been a long time coming. It really has been a long battle. Uh, thank you guys for the support. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. And I'm going to salty a camera. <laughs>